doing my very, very first reactions is quite a lot of pressure. Welcome to my channel, my name is Michelle and today I've got a video review, it's for a company called Poster Bloom, the flower delivery app and they deliver flowers by post, the box is the right width and height that way to go through your letterbox. And they contacted me a couple of days ago asking would I like to review their product. I love flowers. So yeah, of course I said yes. Who doesn't like flowers? So it's just arrived. We don't actually have a letterbox on our front door. We've got a mailbox outside. So this wasn't going to fit inside the box. So the postie, he knows me. He just knocked on the door and um, sort of hand delivered it to me. But they are designed to go through a letterbox so that if the recipient isn't home, um, they can still be delivered, which I think is a really good thing because there's nothing worse than being out and something is, something's delivered and you're not home for it. Open it up and show you. I can't quite see, but that's how they come. A little card here. The world's best mum. World's best ever mum. That's me. Dear Michelle, happy Mother's Day from all at Poster Bloom, the flower delivery app. I'm, I'm guessing that, you know, when you order them for yourself or, well, not for yourself, you could order them for yourself, why not? Treat yourself. And um, when you order them for someone, you can probably customise a message like you would do at a, a traditional florist. And on that side there is the flower care instructions. And it says, um, on arrival, you need to hydrate your flowers. They don't come in, um, what do they call it, oasis or like little water bags or anything like that. So really you want to get them into water as soon as possible, which I'm, I'm going to do very, very shortly. So you're going to see a cut in the video along with all my other cuts where I've messed things up and I cut everything together and then show you the arranged flowers afterwards. Better not gas on too much. But anyway, right, remove all the packaging from your flowers. This is how they are. It's kind of um, like a mesh netting type thing. Trim one inch, two to three centimetres off each stem using a sharp knife or scissors. Cut the stems diagonally for best results. Remove any leaves which will be below the water line. Put your flowers in a clean vase with fresh water and the flower food. There was a little flower food packet in there. And avoid placing your flowers near ripening fruit, heat and direct sunlight. Within around 60 minutes and after a good drink, your flowers will firm up and start looking their best. Keep the water topped up and recut the stems by a further two centimetres every three days to keep your flowers in optimum condition for as long as possible. Oh, now do you know what? I never knew that. I didn't know you're supposed to keep cutting flower stems down to prolong their life. Um, I do generally, when I arrange flowers, I cut down to fit in the jar and that's probably what I'm going to do with these because I don't have any big, tall vases anymore don't know where they've gone they probably got lost in the move a couple of years ago some here some little red roses that kind of are dying off a bit but they're from valentine's day just keep an eye on the time because i've got to pop out in a sec so i'm gonna to have to quickly finish this video and i'm also going to have to get these in water before i rush off so this is within an hour six minutes blah, 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 they'll start looking but anyway i was talking about the what was i talking about oh i was talking about the flowers and cutting down the stems. So I generally cut them down anyway, but I didn't know cutting them down would prolong their life. Definitely something I'm going to test with these flowers. When I come back and finish off this video, I'm going to go through like how you can order these and how much they cost and stuff like that and show you the flowers. That's it for now and I'll be back very soon. Right, I'm back from my appointment. I didn't have time to arrange the flowers before I went, so I literally just um, quickly took off these um, netting things off each flower stem and threw them in the sink with some water um, until I could come back and arrange them. Obviously, threw them is a bit extreme. I placed them nicely. Here are the net things that protect the bloom of the flower stem and you literally just pull them straight off and there's your flower. 
we've got some white roses, pink carnations and some green stuff. I don't know what they're called. So what I'm going to do is arrange them. I have got a little mason jar because I don't have any vases at home. I've got one jug vase, like a metal jug that I use as a vase and that's already got flowers in and my other little has got my roses in which I showed you earlier. So if you don't know how to arrange flowers, and especially if you get given something like this through the post, you're going to have to arrange them yourself and prepare them yourself. I have always cut stems down. I, I, I went on a little tiny floristry course years and years and then I mean years ago, like 17 years ago or something. Um, so I knew to cut them down and at a certain angle and all of that sort of stuff. Now inside the pack is a little tiny flower food put it in the little bars of water and it says put your flowers in a clean flowers with fresh water and flower food so that's what I've done and ah okay I don't know what I said R for about that much so that means I'm personally from my flowers I'm going to take about it's about six inches there off my flowers so I'm going to quickly do that Obviously be careful with roses, they have got the thorns on them. Right, I have now got all of my flowers cut down to size. Right, the other bit of advice that it gives is to take off any of the bottom leaves. You don't want them sitting in the water because that's what manks up the water. Nice word. <laughs> Makes the water, water all manky. Right, I'm going to start with these. I'm not sure what they are. It's the only trouble with roses are these little spikes on them. They're beautiful, but I am literally just like I would make a hand tie. And it's not that hard. Yes, of course it's hard if you want something really flamboyant and I'm not taking that skill away. But you literally hold it in your hand and take the flowers that you want and just keep adding them around. That's better. Vase. I keep showing you the vase. It's not a vase, it's a jug. It's not a jug, it's a, what is it, a jar. Right, so they could do with being a bit shorter. But... And there we have our flowers by post. I think considering they've come in the post and they were like flat packed and... I think they're a really nice quality of flower. They don't look like they're half, you know, I think that's something I would personally worry about if they're a bit, you know, on the dye inside, but they're not at all. They smell really fresh. Um, and in fact, the roses have already started to, where they were obviously tightly closed with those, these net thingies, they've already started to open up. So I'm sure over the next couple of hours, they're going to open up further and obviously over the next couple of days as well. So, right, as I said earlier, the Poster Bloom is an app that you order from. It's available on the iPhone only at the moment. Hopefully they'll add it for other uh, for Android devices. But for now it's just an iPhone app, which I do have. The app is really easy to use. You just click on the bouquet that you want. In this case it was the letterbox bouquet. Mine was called Cloud9. It was 20 $20.99 plus delivery. Delivery is $2.99 and it says standard UK postage one to three days so that will just depend on well mail. And I was right yay me about the these little green ones being chrysanthemums. It says Cloud9 is a modern interpretation of a classic combination of roses and carnations, which I completely agree with because they're really classic flowers. And they're lovely infused with green santini chrysanthemum to give a contemporary twist. Colours may vary throughout the season. Um, I think it'd be nice if that was just popped inside the box as well, just to let you know which um, flowers are in your bouquet. I mean, I, like I said, I think I said earlier, 
I personally like knowing what flowers are in there because if I suddenly think, oh, that's a really nice flower, but I don't know the name of it. And then trying to search online is a nightmare. You know, you can't sort of say, well, look at this flower. What does it look like? Although you could, I suppose, with the image search, but that's by the by. I've lost my flow. So what do I think of Poster Bloom? Well, I think it's a great idea. I love receiving things in the mail. If you watch my videos and read my blog, you know that I love a I love subscription boxes and, and surprises in the mail. I think it's it's just some it's a really nice thing to receive, either that you send to yourself or someone sends to you or you send to someone. I think it's a really convenient way of sending flowers because you know, you can't always be guaranteed that the person that you want to send flowers to are going to be home and these are designed to fit through a standard letterbox. In my case, it wasn't going to work simply because we've got a mailbox outside, which, yes, it would have fit in there, but it would have been poking out and someone would have had that way, I reckon. Luckily, I was in. Luckily, I've got neighbours who would take things in for me. I did like the way they were packaged. I thought they were packaged very securely. The box, obviously you can't tell on the video, but the box is really sturdy. Um, they were all packed nicely and snugly together. They had that, where's that thing? They had that netting thing to protect the, to protect the blooms at the top. Um, obviously it came with the flower food. There was an, an, I didn't show you the front of the card, did I? World's best ever mum. Um, it had a nice little card in there with the instructions on how to care for your flowers. I think the only downside is, is if you're not very good at arranging flowers, clearly I'm not. Um, even though I went on a flourishing course, that was nearly like 17 years ago or something I said, so well, let's just ignore that. But yeah, if someone receives them and they're just like, oh no, what do I do? You know, it's going to be it, not a struggle for them, but it'd just be about plopping them in a vase, I suppose. But that's not too much of an issue I think you're paying here for the convenience at 20.99 I suppose they're on you know they're a bit more expensive than if you'd buy this similar sort of bunch of flowers in like say a supermarket or something uh, but like I said you are paying for the convenience and it's a convenience I personally would pay for um, it's the sort of thing that I would send on to my mum especially if I wasn't sure if they were going to be in or not I think that's I think that is the main thing that this is about is is the fact that you don't have to worry about the person having to be in to, to accept the flowers from a regular floristry delivery service or even from a courier because they come through the mail. Um, and I think that's really about it. I really love these flowers. I love flowers anyway, the, the, like cut flowers. They just brighten up my day. Look forward to seeing how well these last because I think that's always a mark of, of good flowers. Do that whole cutting down the stems thing to see if that works. If it does, that'll be like a revelation for me. Finally... I've got a discount code for you to get 20% off your first order. Just type in purple pumpkin, all one word, when you check out in the app. And that's it from me for today. My wonderful flower arranging, my review of poster bloom. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye.